Sue here. So over the past almost two years now of being full-time RV, we have learned so much from other RVers, from bloggers, and some of them are kind of cool little tips. We thought we'd put a video together to actually share what we learned. One of the really nice things safety-wise that we learned is about the Google Voice phone numbers. You can get them for free actually and it's a nice for an emergency so if you need to contact us I made this sign it's just a fake one our real ones underneath it with the phone number um, you post it out here and the, the Google voice phone number actually I have it where it's linked to Mark's phone number or cell phone and my cell phone so if anybody calls that both our phones ring so if we happen to not be here at all um, somebody could call us we ran into this one incident in a, an RV park where somebody actually was gone for the day and they had water running from out from underneath their RV. So a lot of people were going to the office and letting them know and they had to try to find these people and find out what was going on so they didn't flood out their whole RV. So this is really handy. This is great. Google Voice. Um, it's a free phone number. Go online. We actually tape ours on the inside. It's there all the time. I just put this up here so our number wasn't out there. Then another thing that we really like is uh, to know what the temperature's like outside. We are always moving, never really sure about the, the area and what the common average uh, temperature is. So we did get the digital thermometer that we keep inside our RV. It's got a, a setup for the temperature indoor and we have one sensor in one of the, the bays on the, the bottom so we can make sure that our plumbing isn't going to freeze overnight. You know, we have a kind of a keep assessment on what the temperature is down there. But you know, when you get up in the morning, you want to know what does it feel like out there. So you can go on to your phone and you can look at the local weather. It doesn't always really give you what you're feeling right there. So we found this really nice thermometer and it's a uh, electrostatically clings it's fantastic it actually goes on the outside and it just stays on there whoop put it the right way just clings right on there so you can see from the inside what the temperature really is out here all right, one nice thing about doing this is that wherever we end up parking, we can find the window that's going to be like the north side. It's always in the shade so we don't get a false reading in the sun. And we can move it to whatever window we need to. One thing you got to remember, though, when you're done and moving on to the next uh, location, <clears throat> you really got to take it off. Otherwise, you may not have it when you get to the next spot. So that's two of our tips for outdoor here and uh, Google Voice number, awesome, got to try it. Thermometer, we do have a, an Amazon affiliate. So check it out, we've got the thermometer down there too. Sue, what about this tip? So we don't forget our thermometer, we write down thermometer <laughs> on our little metal clip here. And if I can find this on Amazon, I will show people where those are. But then it goes on, pretend this is my steering wheel, honey. All right, I already did it. There uh -huh. we go. There it is. So he wraps us around the steering wheel, all the things, like put the antenna down, stuff like that. And uh, this, he made a special one just for our thermometer so we don't uh, drive away and have it blow away. Right, so I'm going to go away. Sorry for photobombing your video. <laughs> He's a photobomber. All right, let's go indoors and see what else is going on. So there's a few extra things in the kitchen that we've kind of discovered over our almost two years of full-time RVing that really help us. One of the, the things is in our drawer where we have our, our bowls and as they clatter along we found that this shelving really helps to put in between the bowls and it really kind of takes down the rattle as we're um, driving along. So that's one. Another thing you know, you're really limited on the space in an RV as far as preparing food. And we have this made special just so we can cover up our stove top. So when we're not using it and I can do my preparing of food and extra counter space. Then another thing that helped is my husband had this uh, lovely spice rack where they brought it out more and put all my spices here. I used to have them on the other side in the cabinets and it was kind of a hassle. They're here, they're out of the way, they don't take up any counter space. Perfect. 
Then one of my favorites is as you're cooking and you know you've got your uh, favorite Instant Pot book and it's laying here and you're cooking away and it's like taking up space and you're spilling stuff on it. I actually found on another blog this handy little thing that's going to help us out. So this is where you can get your, um, you know, clothes that you have, like a swimsuit or something hooked in there. All you have to do is clamp it onto your book and then just hang it from one of your cabinets. Perfect. Out of the way. You're not dripping stuff on it. It's easy to read and follow. I mean, this is good in any house, not just a rig. So if you want, you can go back on episode 16 of ours and there's more information on uh, the spice rack and where we had it done and also the top where we had it done. Episode 16, talking about Numar, what was it, Mark? It was the Numar Motorhome Upgrade video. Numar Motorhome Upgrade video. Episode 16, learn about our spice rack we had made for us and also cover for our... Um, stove top. So when I was back in Milwaukee still working I had a thing about wearing wrinkled clothes. So I ironed my clothes every day or ironed them for several days ready for work and uh, I thought man I can't stand the look of crushed clothes. So when we bought this rig we bought it used and to my surprise when I looked inside this wardrobe closet the previous owner left this nice little ironing board. I thought, perfect. So I've got myself an ironing board and all I need to do is uh, pack along my iron. So that's what I did. I've got my ironing board. In the last almost two years of us um, RVing full time, I have not used this once. Heavy weight. So today's the day. Goodwill in it. It's gone. Let me show you how I've been dealing with my thing about don't like crushed clothes. So as you can see, I've got one of my t-shirts out and it's crushed. I'll just add a few more crush to it. And um, years ago, I found this thing that um, you could make your own to release. I totally forgot about it until I came across it on somebody else's blog. But then when I'm in the store, I saw that Downey actually does have a wrinkle releaser. So I bought it. And I tried it and I loved it. So I thought this is kind of expensive. Let me figure out, go online, do a, a DIY, DIY, do it yourself, wrinkle release. And sure enough, there's a recipe. Put it on the back. So it's one cup of distilled water to one teaspoon of the downy softener. And then one teaspoon of rubbing alcohol. And that helps it kind of dry a little bit faster from what they say. So I mixed it up, I made some. And really, all you got to do is just spray it, give it a little stretch. You can see the wrinkles just kind of falling away. We'll turn that around. And there it goes. Wrinkles are falling away. There it is. The crush look has gone away. So, okay, it's not as crisp as if you were to iron it, but holy smokes, what a difference. Before and after. Okay, and for our final tip, it has to do with... Uh, a dish rack. I mean, obviously you got to find the right dish rack that fits your rig. And Mark and I had a little debate. I bought this really nice little dish rack, not this one, that was made for RV. It didn't take up much space. And that was my big thing. I didn't want it to take up a lot of space because they're so limited. And it wasn't working well. The dishes kept falling over. It just wasn't working well. So that brings me to the point of what our tip is. And our tip is how we found this dish rack. We didn't know this, but once we got into the RV living, our first winter, we were at a really nice resort, RV park, and we found out what RV living people call the RV mall. 
So the RV Mall was actually um, where we found this. And it's, um, well, it's actually in episode 17. Check it out. It's funny. We had some great finds at what we call the RV Mall. So these are a few of the things that we've learned over the past two years of full-time RVing, making life a little bit easier living in the small space. If you have anything to share, any things that you found pretty valuable, please let us know. Leave a comment below. Also, don't forget to give us a thumbs up if you liked it and subscribe. Hit that bell, the notification bell, and get notifications when we upload our next video. Thanks for watching. See you on the road.